All right, Tim L. from Lockmar- Larkmont, New York. I wanted to ask, this coming spring, if I aerate my lawn and then apply pre-emergent, is that okay? Reason I ask is I heard that aerating in the lawn is good to allow the grass to have better access to water and fertilizer, but at the same time, I want to keep the weeds away. Good question. So what Tim is asking is, hey, can I aerate in the springs that can affect the pre-emergent? I'm going to recommend no aeration in the spring. The reason I'm going to say that is because outside of even pre-emergent, you're disturbing the soil at a time when you're getting a lot of rain in the spring and um, a lot of weeds are trying to grow. Not just crabgrass, but dandelions and many others are trying to grow in the spring so they can make it through the summer there. And by stirring everything up, you're helping them. So I would say no. Now, when it comes to the crabgrass, same thing. You're going you're gonna to probably pull up a lot of the crabgrass seeds that were maybe there that maybe dropped or whatever. You're going to open them up to more heat, more water, more of this, more of that. And on top of that, you're, cre- you're pre-emerging, even if you put it down after the aeration, it's not going to cover as well because those holes are open open, and, and it can disturb the barrier even after. So you definitely don't aerate on top of your pre-emergent, but you don't want to put pre-emergent down after the aeration for the same reason. It's just, you just don't. You don't want to disturb the ground in the spring if you can help it. So if you're concerned, I mean, I, I treated lawns in Indiana and Illinois and even into Ohio that were just complete clay, and we never really had problem with water penetration in spring because the ground is fairly saturated after all the snow anyway, and it's soft, and as well as all the rain. So there's plenty of penetration going there. And then if you uh, do want to get additional penetration, we have the liquid aerate product. That That's exactly what that does. It increases water penetration, and as water penetrates the soil, it's going to pull down nutrients. It's going to pull down uh, carbon and other things. So I would just say hold off on the mechanical aeration in the spring for sure. And if you're concerned about it, use the liquid aerate. 